Take it away, Star. Good morning. Welcome to Car Rides with Connor. The time is... Oh, oh, oh I forgot you... to change my clock again. Daylight savings is annoying. The time is 7.03. Just, yeah, just add one. Whatever. Today's like a Monday to you and me. Yeah. We've had You've had the last couple of days off. Yeah. It's been a, a, a fun week, but a different week. Yeah. So we're a little out of sorts. Yep. What is this bullshit? Who are we kidding? Yeah. We're late anyway. It doesn't matter yeah, if it's yeah. Monday, Thursday. It doesn't matter if we've fully rested or exhausted. We're full of shit. Yeah. We are. I know I should be... be I should probably be... Nah, never mind. You should probably be what, babes? Nothing. It's nothing. Okay. You seem a little agitated today. Are you... I had some really bad acid reflex last night. Um, we've got to get back on your medicine. Okay. That's it. So, did they keep you up? What did you... Oh, okay. I didn't I think eat we had, anything. I thought I saw you eating something. Was it pizza? It was... Those chicken fries. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so not feeling good is a reason to definitely. Gosh, this, that driveway bump gets us every time. That Zoom call took uh, three, two oh, hours. It, no, it was Instagram Live. That was. Yeah, it come was. On, it man. was. I did. I, but was, I, get, I, get, I did get to meet James and Michael from Love on the Spectrum. Well, uh, if, you, if you don't get Instagram or you're not, you're not you know, on that platform. Last night it was totally impromptu. Skylar, who runs the Love on the Spectrum Quotes Instagram page, yeah. she asked, texted and said, hey, would Connor want to jump on this live and talk to James? I, I actually would. I, Jay, James and I... Uh, they actually showed off our swords to each other. No, uh, uh, Your the collectibles. Metal. Your collectibles. Our collectibles, yes. The, yes, no. Our metal swords. Yes, no. and if anyone goes anywhere else with it, that's on them, not you. Yes. So you don't worry about that. Um, Except mine was made by Honshu, who, who a brand sold on Bud K. Okay. And, and James got his from Sabersmith, which is tremendous... Go ahead, keep talking. I'm just my hand for a minute. And James got his sword on and Sabersmith, which is tremendously expensive. So James is a baller, and uh, we're bottom feeders. Yeah. Okay, do you need me to take what? homegirl out of your lap so you can eat? Yeah. Put her over here. Or do we need to ex evict her to the back of the car? We're in our neighborhood. We're in a very quiet street, so before all the haters hate about me sorry. driving and all oh, this. Oh, sorry, Chewy. Oh, Chewy got a haircut. Excuse me. And it's good. He yeah. needed it, but yeah, my but kids are upset. Maybe they, maybe it's because he doesn't have his lion tail. Well, here's the thing. We gave a picture that was like a little lamb, so the inspiration was lamb. Yeah. Like, to have him look like a little lamb, and he does. So when the sun comes up, we'll show him to you. Because he was. He looked like a fluffy little lion. Mm. And now he's a lamb. Oh, the lion and the lamb. Mm. We've got the lamb now. Mm. I'm going to close this for noise. Okay, so Instagram Live, they showed each other their swords. And then, crazy out of nowhere, what happened? Because this was then I turned into a fangirl 100%. We met Michael. From Australia. They popped him on the screen. I about died. And then Michael and Connor were like an absolute house on fire doing movie scenes and voices. You guys were like tip for tap, back and forth. It was so, yeah. Yeah. I was passed out on the kitchen floor. Coco had to get the smelling salts. It was amazing. You know, I have to tell you, and I know you think I get over emotional and, and get a little, I was holding back tears watching you on that call last night. I don't think I've ever seen you more. I'm going to, I'm going to get a little emotional now because I'm a sob. You were so like you were just with your people. You were just with like-minded people and you all had fun 
respect. You were laughing. I mean, oh, I mean, you just looked so pure, purely, purely joyful and happy. Yeah. I can't talk at this time of the day. We should not do the show at this time of the day. Oh gosh, Connor. It was beautiful to see. I don't know. I just was so happy and I'm grateful to Skylar mm -hmm. for the platform that you get to, good Lord, you were hanging out with someone in Boston and Australia. Yeah. From our little kitchen in Georgia. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm talking too much. We do have questions or comments and we do have to say we can't, the elephant in the room, who was in the car the other day? Mm. Mm. Sorry, Connor's eating. I did say I was going to talk while he ate, so that's why you're hearing more of me. I'm trying to help the boy out. Nikki and Tanner. Oh, yeah. They were. They were. We did the Absolutely Not podcast with Heather McMahon. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't know when it's going to air, but as soon as we know, we'll tell you. And, and I actually sat in a seat where Jane Fonda sat. I sat in the same seat. Did you toot in it? No. Just ask him. And she was awesome. She was real. She wasn't she great. Mm -hmm. She she totally. Um, she she her mom's from Boston. So uh, she, uh, Heather, not 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 Jane Fonda. She wasn't there. No, Jane Fonda wasn't there. Um, Heather was awesome. Yeah, and her and her team, Christina and Emily, they mm -hmm. are absolute OGs as well. Oh, just yep. made me want to be on the team. Yeah. I could have worked there. I would have vacuumed the cool rug. I don't care. Just let me be there. Just kidding. Mm -hmm. um, so that was super fun. And then we surprised Tanner because he was a guest in our city. And we wanted to roll out the red carpet for Tanner and Nikki, didn't we? Yep. We gave them a trip to the aquarium. We showed in. And we got a special. And I thought this was cute. It was called Behind the Seas tour instead of behind the scenes get it Ooh, yeah, play on yeah. I love a play on words give me puns and play on words any day of the week yep and do you want to talk about the behind the scenes tour oh we were given a and see back backstage tours you might say of of some of the tanks we saw the belugas oh, and Yep, they were adorable. Especially Shyla, the little calf. She was a little, uh, they said COVID baby. Well, she was, uh, and she was super, very big for her age. Oh yeah, she said they're, they're the largest beluga in captivity. Weighing in at a, a sprightly thousand something pounds. Mm. Just FYI, I, went, I, I, I let go of the, the diet creamer. Well, yeah, and I'm back to our Kramer, and I'm just yeah, this awful is the stuff. Cup of happiness happening right now. Can you give me a little clink clink? Mm -hmm. Thank there, you. there you go. So good. What's a few extra calories and carbs between friends? Yeah. Anywho. Anyway, so then the coral reef display that was a little boring to me, but you and Amanda, the tour guide, you were like having a nerd fest about it. Marine, what can I say? Marine biology is one of my passions. Yeah, you were having like, your nerdometer was like 10 plus. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. And uh, you were like a little professor telling all of us facts. It was great. Yeah. And then, um, okay, should we try to get to a couple questions or comments? Uh, yes. I, I popped six into your phone. I felt like. Obviously. Why don't we answer some commenters' questions now? We love that. And thanks for all the love to Jack on his guest ride. Oh, yes. M many thanks. We appreciate that. Love for the fam. God, these people are deal gears. Madrigal Con... Um, oh, meant it on your video. Bertha Lisa, are you there? Ah, here we go. Maria Madrigal... Well, says... Connor asks... Connor, have you eaten frog's legs? If not, would you consider eating them? Ugh. I have, and they taste like chicken. Ooh. Oh, grow up. Never. You may have the opportunity to Saturday night at your birthday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but... Have you I'll, ever eaten them? No, I've never had frog's legs before. What, 
would you? Is this tip part two of the question then? What would I consider? I, I would. I mean, I would consider eating them. I mean, if they really are as good as you say they are. Well, here's the deal. They will serve them at the place we're having your birthday dinner Saturday night. Should we? Maybe another time, Ma. Okay, so that's a no for Saturday night. Okay, I was just trying to make it yeah, interesting. Yeah. All right, so the next question. Cranky pants. Daisuka69 writes, just a suggestion. You guys should set up a P.O. box so fans can send you guys stuff, especially since it sounds like Connor's birthday is coming up. Bro, where have you been? <laughs> we have a P.O. box. Um, I actually responded to that comment, but do you think it's okay if I get it out here? Yeah. 4920 Atlanta Highway, Suite 214, and that's Alpharetta, Georgia, 30004. Zero. Okay, next. Four zero. No, oh, no, no, our pop, our port, no, Connor. Oh, three zero zero yeah, four. Then that was like a flip flop of numbers. Okay, Mr. Rude Shoes. Writes, oh, we love this dude. He's always at, you come in clutch for us, Mr. Rude Shoes. You're always there. Thank you. I love green tree frogs. They are always on my window, and I've been getting into Norse mythology lately. Ooh. Does Connor have a favorite Norse myth? Hmm. Almost bought you. Oh. Ooh. There was the time I'm Loki broke into Thor and Sif's room when they were sleeping and he cut her hair because it looked like a field of summer wheat to him. Oh, that's so rude. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and to avoid Thor's wrath, uh, he saw, he thought maybe giving the gods some gifts would help them forget it. The gifts being their famous weapons. So he sought help from the dwarves and... Well, he convinced them to get into a contest against each other. They would each give three gifts to the gods. Wait, who, who cut whose hair? What? Loki cut Sif's hair. Who's Sif? Thor's wife. What's Loki doing in their bedroom? Loki <laughs> on Loki. Loki Why? is the god of mischief. No, I know. What, what's he doing in his brother and bro sister-in-law's bedroom? Creep. <laughs> And why didn't I, Thor wake I, I up? I just said to you, I told you. Who? Contrary to what we saw in Marvel, Sif's hair is hair was supposed to be golden, like like a field of summer wheat. And Loki liked that, so he cut it. Yes. My biggest thing is why didn't Thor wake up, get Mjolnir, whatever his thing is? Because he didn't have Mjolnir at the time. Why are you so mad at me? Because you're not paying attention. I don't know. These are questions I don't know. I'm just asking. Anyway, long story short, hurt, hurt. Broke and Sindri, two of the dwarves, who were brothers, they were working on one on their third gift, which was meant for Thor. So Loki, being a shapeshifter, turned into a fly and tried. Brock was told he could not stop manning the bellows at the forge, which even for a second. And so Loki turned into a fly and tried to distract Brock. He buzzed around the dwarf's head, but Brock simply shooed him away. He got in Brock's ear. Brock simply flicked him away. But when he finally landed on Brock's eyelid and bit down as hard as he could, and Brock... Brock screamed and let go of the bellows. It was only for a split second, but in that split second, and the whip, the gift meant for Thor was ruined. And it was meh. That gift was Thor's hammer, Mjolnir. It was supposed to have a longer handle, but it instead it, it ha had a short one. Um, That's amazing. Yeah. That's all we have time for, but yeah. I hope you, I know you don't feel well. So, you know, like the, the sassiness, I'm going to just, we're going to wipe it away because you don't feel good. What we need to get back on whatever medicine. So we need to go to the doctor, mm -hmm. but we need to get back to not eating after eight o'clock at night, stuff like that. So we need to probably get better dinner times going. Yes. And mom tonight, don't, 
Don't ask me to do anything. Leave me to eat in peace. I will leave you to eat in peace. I will not bother you. There's no commitments on you. Um, okay, we're pulling up. It looks very peaceful over here. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Tranquil. Yeah. I wonder if they missed you. I'm How sure they, they did. How could they not? I'm, I mean, uh, usually when I'm gone for two days, this play this looks like, like a dumpster. Or something. I can't believe Kro I can't believe the building's still standing. Connor's been gone for two shifts. Yeah. How did they survive without you? No idea. Oh my gosh. Ooh, is he vaping or smoking? I I ain't sticking around to find out. I wouldn't I either. Okay. Anyway. Um, and then I just need you to if you can just show che Chewy, come here. Chewy, come on. Look at oh, oh. This is our okay. Like, there's his haircut. All right. Anyway, okay. thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and as always, stay classy, planet Earth. All right, bye, so buddy. Nice. I'm sorry you don't feel good. Okay, right. we're late every day. Yeah, well, this day. is different. Okay. Get me here early. I know it doesn't feel good, so I'm gonna like let all that slide. But wow, cranky pants were put on today. He gets sassy, man. He is a really sweet guy, but don't don't get him in a bad mood. It seems to be my specialty, but um, but I'm glad he told me he wasn't feeling good last night. That that helps me. Um, he gets really bad acid reflux. We've actually had to go to the doctor for it. So, um, I think sometimes with things like that kind of medication, he he lets things drop off. So. Note to self, mom, get back on that one and make sure we got to get uncomfortable. I mean, what the heck? Nobody wants to be uncomfortable and in pain and losing sleep. So, um, yeah. But what do you guys think of Chewy's haircut? Everyone's mad at me, but his hair was getting unmanageable. Come here, Chewy Bugs. I can't. My shoulders don't do that. You don't do this. I guess we're... This sis right here jumps up, pings around like a little piece of popcorn. We love you. She got groomed too. She's all fluffy and clean. Trimmed, nails trimmed. That was some of the shade on Netflix. People were saying everyone had a dirty white dog. Number one, Chewy was always groomed for every episode. And he, Shih Tzus have those little tear stains, which I try cranberry supplements and things like that for him. Um, but back to the haircut. He was getting so long and so cute, just the way we love him. And, um, no joke, his hair was starting to get mad, matted and naughty and tangled. So it was a one day last week. I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna brush him through. He doesn't really like that. But I thought if we just do it in the chair, I'll watch TV, I'll act like I'm not doing anything. He didn't growl, but this boy turned his head back on me so fast, like he was gonna, he just warned me, like, stop, stop brushing me. And I said, okay, player, this is how you wanna be. We can't have this gorgeous puff of hair dog if you're gonna act like that. And that's the result, man. That's it, that's what you're faced with. A little lamb look. Jack was upset. Anna's upset. Because they, they like him fluffy. But, you know, I can't have that. And I'm also not going to have him get all mad and uncomfortable. I don't think that's good for them. So we'll see. We'll, we'll try it again. Choo choo. Um, oh, just really quick. I know you got a lot of comments about this mug. So this channel's like two years old. Uh, we had nobody watching us. <laughs> For a very long time. In fact, nobody watched us until Netflix came out. We had 97 subscribers, um, which is fine. I mean, the channel was designed kind of for family and friends and sort of my own vlog about me and Connor. So I was fine with that. Um, but because we had so much fun with it, Anna designed this for me and it was a Christmas gift two years ago from the kids. I think in one of those places you can like order a mug and uh, Anna did this and then interesting so Anna did this design and it's white and the inside of the mug is black so I'm fine with that but I have a sister-in-law and it's so funny I would never even notice stuff like that 
she's so funny. She will not drink out of a mug that ha has a dark inside. And that's just something, it's just, it's just, I love, people fascinate me. And I just think that's cool. And uh, I don't think she watches the show. Um, oh, Florence does, her daughter. Hey, Flo. Um, but I just think that's a cool thing to like go, you know what? That's a dark mug. I can't drink it. And I, I'm, I think she told me why. And I don't remember now. But I'll get the answer because I just think it's cool. I, it doesn't bother me. Any color on the inside of the mug, I'm going to drink the contents of the mug. But um, that's just a little, a little fun fact for me. Useless knowledge that gets you through your day. All right, I'm blabbering blabber and babbling and all the things. So it's Thursday, gosh. Monday, Jack drove. Tuesday, we had off for the podcast. So we did the surprise episode. Oh, last comment. People were like, I wish y'all had stayed on longer with Nikki and Tanner. The, that was by design, and I'll tell you why. Right now, Connor and Tanner are kind of having a moment, which is understandable. There's a lot of requests of them, and I didn't, we were on our way to this podcast, and I think Nikki and I both agreed we wanted them to be fresh. We thought it would be fun to, you know, let you guys see us all together here, and I would have loved to have done longer. Probably Nikki would have too. We just didn't want to burn out Tanner and Connor. Um, the social battery, we wanted to keep it fresh for the podcast, which was the whole point of the day. So that was why I didn't keep the camera rolling longer. I just wanted to do a fun hello. Um, thanks for responding to it. It sounds like you guys had fun. And uh, so that was the, the, the why behind that, just in case um, I didn't want you guys to feel shortchanged ever, ever, never, because I love all of you. And another comment, I am loving, I'm starting to recognize subscribers in the, in the comments. You guys are so loyal. Mr. Rude Shoes, IVF Mommy. Um, oh, there's, there's a couple where I'm like, oh my gosh, this person's always checking in on us. So thank you guys so much. Um, we just appreciate it and means the world to us that number one, you spend 12 to 20 minutes with us a day whatever <laughs> and then that you take extra time to stop and type to us <clears throat> so thank you that's it peeps have a fabulous thursday it's connor's birthday weekend we're doing a merchandise special for him for his birthday we're going to give everybody 25 percent off he's got a full dance card so we're so excited um it's a big birthday i think 25 i still feel 21 so the math doesn't line up on how I have a 25 year old. But anyway, have a super day, everybody. We love you and talk to you tomorrow. Bye.